What is going on internet? My name is Lou and I make Linux videos and I put them on the internet. So to get a few things out of the way right at the top of the video, if you're interested in this wallpaper, there will be a link to it in the video description below. The operating system I'm using is Elementary OS Luna. It's beta 2. I have some videos on Elementary that I've put up recently. Feel free to check those out. And the application I'm using to record my screencast here is FFmpeg. So what we're going to be talking about tonight is this guy right down here, Plank. Now Plank is the default dock that you find in Elementary OS Luna. Now Manjaro Linux also uses it as the uh, default application launcher or dock in the XFCE uh, edition. Now the difference in Elementary is you can go into System Settings and you have a little dock uh, icon here and you can change some of the settings on um, uh, Plank. However, if you're using something like Manjaro, you don't have that option. So tonight's video is how to really dive deeper into these settings to customize Plank the way that you like and even change the Plank theme. Okay, so you, here's the three options you get in elementary. You get the icon size, which ranges from small to extra large. Now this custom size is something I added. The hide mode, and then of course the theme. Jupyter Redux is not here by default. I'm going to show you how to get it there. So I believe by default you have the Pantheon theme, which is this one right here. I happen to like Jupyter Redux a little bit better. It reminds me of um, the Mac OS X Tiger theme, I believe was this one uh, for the dock in uh, Mac OS X. Anyway, so what we're going to want to do here is open up your file manager, if you're using elementary, of course, it's files. If you're using something like Manjaro, you're going to open up Thunar. Hit Control H. Now, Control H is going to reveal all the hidden files and folders. You're going to go to the .config plank doc1 directory. There's a little file in here called settings. All right, so when you open up settings, this is what it looks like. Uh, now, over here, you see icon size. Here is where you can really uh, change the icon size to whatever you like. Now, in a previous update, um, the dock tab had a nice little slider that really lets you customize the size of the dock. Uh, if anyone from elementary is watching, please bring that back. I really liked that. Um, but anyway, now of course they have these few options here. But if you want to change it, if you're not happy with the size, you can get very, very specific. Okay, say for instance you wanted something that was only 20 pixels. You change it to 20, save the file by hitting Control S and it's going to change it here. Now, when we go back into system settings, desktop and then dock, as you can see, now there's a custom entry that says 20 pixels. If I want to go back to 30, we'll just change it to 30, save the file, and now we're back at 30 pixels. Now, one of the other options is, you know, say for instance, um, you're on a widescreen monitor and you don't like the dock down here at the bottom. You want to be able to take more advantage of the screen real estate. So over here it says the position for the dock on the monitor is 3. If you change that to a 0, save the file, now all of a sudden you have uh, Plank on the left. If you change that to 5, save the file. Actually, you know what? 5 doesn't work. Let's try 4. How about 3? Alright, so 3 is the bottom. That's the default. We'll try 2. I haven't memorized all these yet. Okay, so two puts it right at the top, and then let's try one. One puts it on the right. So five is the left, one is the right, three here is at the bottom. So, you know, if you went in into the um, system settings and changed this to auto hide, there you go. So now you've got plank on the right, and it's configured to auto hide. So if you're using a widescreen monitor, this kind of gives you a little bit more uh, screen real estate. Now, uh, that's that. So for me, I actually do like it at the bottom. So I'm going to switch mine back. There we go. And we're going to change it not to hide for right now. And three. There we go. All right, now, say you want to change the theme. I've been asked about the theme I'm using here. This is called Jupyter Redux. What you're going to do is um, open up your web browser. You're going to type in K 
Cassidy James. Uh, DeviantArt and playing themes. Cassidy James is the community development manager, I believe, for the elementary product uh, project, and he has some playing themes. So here's some of the themes. I use Jupyter Redux. You're just going to download the file. For the sake of time, I already did that. You're going to right-click and extract. I'm going to rename this. Rename it to whatever you want, but uh, I'll call it Jupyter Redux. And then what you'll do is you will open up another terminal, and you're going to do sudo move. And then you're going to type out the path to that particular file. And you're going to uh, move it to user, share, plank, and themes. Then hit enter, supply your password, and it will move Jupyter Redux into the proper directory. And then when you go into system settings and come over to doc, it will now populate as a selectable theme. And that's pretty much it, guys. Those are some of the options if you want to really dive a little bit deeper into uh, the Plank settings. I hope this video was helpful. If so, uh, leave a comment in the comment section below letting me know what you think. And until next time, we'll see you guys later.